Really in camp right now, so there's a lot of you get the summer workout rest off and trying to make sure that we're getting the football shape and football technique. But I'm um, really, really excited about the group and, and their potential and the things that I'm seeing so far in camp. Yeah, uh, it sounds like they were going to go with a three band line a lot. Is that put a little more pressure on those guys for a pass rush? Well, you know, we, it's something we did a lot when we played the, pretty much the whole TCU game last year okay. in the three down front, so it's something they're used to. Obviously, there's a, probably an, another gap in pocket that we got to be aware for, so you have to rush a little bit differently than you can in four down without the two extra interior linemen. So it's something that we're definitely cognizant of, something we're working on, making sure those guys are aware of all the open areas in that pocket. What and heard that conversation to even think about making that the permanent go-to? Well, right now at Baylor, we've recruited a lot of fast athletes, a lot of guys that even the defense managers that can potentially play linebacker that can stand up and run. And so truthfully, we're just trying to get speed on the field so we can um, compete in this Big 12 and get guys off the front, get offenses some, some different things to look at. Are you pleased with what you guys accomplished in the offseason that is kind of kind of head crossed over to where you're at now? I'm definitely pleased. I think our strength staff's done a great job of getting those guys stronger and faster. It's showing up in our effort as we're running the ball. You know, we got D Lyman chasing plays 60 yards down the field. James Lynch yesterday chased our receiver all the way down. He's only five yards behind a receiver. So that just tells you the work that they put in this summer, the effort they can able to put in, play in and play out. So that's something that's definitely exciting for us. How much adjustment did you have to make with the two guys that ended up leaving recently? That had to make you make some adjustments. Well, truthfully, right now, especially with the three down front, we're five deep in every position. So we had a lot of depth for those defensive line positions. So um, it really just allows those young guys that we just got in to get more reps and more experience. What's it been like? We haven't talked to you since spring, working alongside Joey. And how's that kind of you know, worked out with you guys and splitting up duties and all that? Well, you're working with a legend. So that's, that's something that makes it a lot easier. He just brings so much to and so much energy for the defense in my mind. It's really been a pleasure to work with, bounce ideas off of someone who's coached a little bit longer than myself. So he's made me a better coach, and we've been really working well together, just changing up responsibilities and make sure that we're giving the D-line as much as we can. Are you guys kind of all in it together, or is it split tackles for you? Ends for how do you kind of work? We just that? attack it. We sense it's really try to do everything together. Uh, he has the title of defense wins, the title of defense tackle. But truthfully, we just make sure our guys are working as hard as they can. Brian Miller is a guy that's kind of new to defensive line. What have you seen from him and his development? The one great thing about Ryan is his strength. He's done a great job of keeping linebackers clean, playing, playing base, stopping run game. And then when the game turns into pass rush, he's able to really get a lot of push right up the middle of the pocket. So I've been pleased with a guy who I've just kind of had a spring to work with, how far he's progressed from when he first started playing D line to where he is right now. How hard is that transition he's making? So I imagine he's, he's, he's going to put on weight regardless, but how hard is that transition? You know, for him, because he was a wrestler in high school, I really do think all those things really helped him out as far as being able to use his hands, play with leverage, which is very key to English and right. So he's able to use his stature to his hand. So it's something that he's able to use and try to excel at. Is there a player or players that uh, has kind of caught your eye so far? You know, the, the group I'm really excited about is, you know, everyone knows about James Lynch and Bravion and James Wildcard, but the guys who I think have made a significant jump are Neandre Zuzwa, T.D. Obanai, and Rob Solomon. Those guys have really done a great job at that next tier of competing and trying to learn to play football the, the right way. And I'm really excited about that freshman group. I think those guys have a, a chance to be special. Rob's another guy that's kind of moved different positions and started out as a tight end, offensive line, and he's a defensive line. What, what do you see from him? Well, as a guy that played basketball in high school, for me, uh, something I always try to look for when I'm recruiting defensive linemen, guys that have some natural agility. And he's been able to bring that over to the defensive line play. And we've been able to let him allow him to play every position in the defensive line because of that. How could James Lynch get even better than he's been? Well, the thing that I think I really want James to improve on is physicality. It's, it's something that he's a very athletic player, very intu intuitive player, and he's very fast as far as like how he reads football. And if we can add some little bit more power for that, I think he has a chance to be really a good. Right now, what do you hope to see change or be more present when well, I just think the overall understanding of the defense, understanding of their roles and how to attack uh, for the line play right now with the three down rush, how to attack the protection. Uh, other than that, I think the, the most important thing is making sure those guys are really getting off the ball. I think that's just really I just want to see get off the ball, effort, and plan on the other side of the line scrimmage. If we can just continue to develop that, we have a chance to make this defense special. How much better is Lockhart than he was a year ago? You know, the thing, the thing, the, the greatest thing I've seen from Lockhart is confidence. He's really confident in his ability. The confident player is usually a good and talented player. He's always had the skill set. He's had this since high school, since he was in it. So it's just about all that maturation, everything coming together. And he's done a great job of making sure he's confident, he's comfortable, he's explosive, and he's viable. Bravion always seems 
to be a really impressive guy. What are you looking for for him to improve this year to take the next step? As I've talked to Brady, you know, the thing I've told him is to make sure that he really has to improve on is that he has to improve on his stamina and conditioning. When he's in shape, there's, there's not many people, I think, that can, in this, that can block him. So it's all about him getting in shape so he can play as long and as hard as he can.